All right, Tyler here with GTV Hub. Uh, we're going to sit down here and we're going to go through the uh, setting up the Logitech review for the first time just to kind of show you how this happens. So this is the very first screen. We already connected everything. Um, so this is, this is right fresh out of the box. So at first it presents you with a, a little menu here showing you um, how to use your keyboard here. So it's showing you the touchpad, which is what I'm using right now. You can use to move the mouse here. Um, back, we're not going to go back because there's something to go back to right now. Uh, arrows and OK, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and go next. Um, apparently this is going to take about 20 minutes. Um, I don't think it's really going to take that long, but we'll find out. Uh, so let's keep going here. So right here is going to help us maximize our, uh, our screen here to fit this TV, so let's keep going. Okay, if you're familiar with um, doing this on a, a computer monitor this is kind of similar so right now it's having us just do it on each side so I just did top and now I'm going to do to the right you can hold down also and it will go a little bit faster uh, go next and go all the way down I think I need to go back and do the other one a little bit more yep yeah. so you you can go back if you if you mess up a little bit like I just did and we'll finally go all the way to the left. All right, that's pretty good. So our screen size is maximized, and now we're going to continue. All right, right now we're connected via Ethernet. Um, I'll maybe go back and do a wireless setup later, but right now we're just connected via Ethernet for, for ease of use, so we're gonna select that. All right, so the system just rebooted, and we're back to uh, back to setting this up. We're at step five of twelve. Uh, I just restarted and installed updates, so we're going to keep going here. Now it wants me to sign in with my Google account, so I guess I'm going to do that. Yes, I will also accept this license. Now step nine wants my zip code, so I will put that. All right, so here we are at step 10. Um, this is asking if we want to set this up with a uh, set-top box, which we do, obviously, so we're gonna uh, start doing that. So right now, um, it shows our, our stuff playing, so that's good, so we'll verify that it's playing and press yes. And then, all right, so it wants us to input our provider. In this case, we're using DirecTV, so we're gonna select DirecTV. And then we're going to look for our receiver here. It's an HR24, which doesn't appear to be on the list. So we're going to press that and see what it wants. Select DirecTV. OK, I guess we get to input the model ourselves. So HR24, in this case, we're using an HR24-500 as our model. Okay, so it seems to have found that. Okay, so I guess if your uh, set-top box isn't on their list, you can look at the bottom for your model number and then you just have to input it manually and it should, um, it should recognize it. So it's just updating our account information here. Alright, I guess now it's checking out our different channels. So right now it's asking us if we have premium channels, which we do. We have all these, so we're going to press yes. Okay, um, now it's... Okay. I guess this is just showing us that it's recognized all of the premium channels, so we're just going to go ahead and press done. Let's continue on. So in this case we have a Samsung and then it asks you for the model number, so you might want to look at that before you get to the step, because if your TV is in a kind of an awkward position, you might want to just look it up online or be prepared to enter this in. So we're going to enter in the model number here. And then, okay, it's detected our TV here, so we're going to say yes, that is correct.
Alright, so it has added our TV, so we are going to continue on here. And now it is having us set up any AV equipment, so we are going to uh, skip this step here because we actually aren't using uh, any kind of AV controller, any kind of AV receiver, so we're going to skip that. Um, Alright, so everything has been set up, and in this case just we don't have a, any kind of an audio video receiver, so that's the only thing we didn't set up, so we're going to continue on here, and we should now be brought to the uh, home screen of the review for the first time, so we're going to wait for that. Coming up your new Logitech review. Now, for the first time, you can easily search and find just what you're looking for across your TV, the web, apps, and even the media on your home network. Use apps like Pandora and Netflix, features like Dual View, and optional accessories like Logitech TV Camera. Review makes your home TV once again the center of all. Apparently this is streaming from the internet All because it's buffering. Welcome to the future of entertainment. Alright, that, uh, I guess that completes the setup, so, uh, oh, I guess never mind, it's not going to restart. Alright, that's it for the setup. Stay tuned, we'll be doing uh, a couple more videos here, going through uh, just some basic settings here, going through some of the menus and checking out some of the apps, so check back for more. Thank you.